Hello, I have another book. This one is The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Remember, Jacqueline Woodson is the author. She did what? Did she write the words or did she draw the pictures? An author writes the words, that's right. Rafael Lopez is the illustrator. He draws the picture. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one is there quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. She has curly hair like me. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Look at Rigoberto's face. Does he look happy? Maybe nervous? Maybe sad? Rigoberto from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. I think he looks a lot happier now. He likes the way his teacher says his name. There will be times when the words don't come, your own voice one's huge now smaller, when the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Shayla says. These shells came from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile, they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina, each souvenir a small triumph of a journey. Their travels going on and on. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen to sleep. And in that room where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your empty hands and wonder what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere. Look at her face. Is that a happy face? No, she looks kind of sad. There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for, for others to love as you do. Does she look happy to be eating her lunch? What about these kiddos? Do they look kind of confused? When even your own friend Nadja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that nice is, rice is the most popular food in the world. Do any of you eat kimchi rice? I love both of them. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high, the run is too fast and far, the game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. Wow. Are those kind words? Do you think they're being kind to this friend over here? He looks sad that he's being left out. How would you feel if your friends didn't want to play with you? It would make me really sad. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. He still looks lonely, doesn't he? What do you think his friends should do? If your friend is sad, what would you do? I would invite them to play. 
and all that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. Look down here. Does his face look much better than the picture above? Yeah, sure does. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister, you tell the class. Your voice is stronger than it was a minute ago. Reading books and telling stories and even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. How do you think they went everywhere if they didn't leave their house? It looks like they read a lot of books. Books can take you to different places. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. Did Ricoberto and Angelina make a friend? They sure did. They made lots of friends. So even though Ricoberto is from Venezuela and Angelina does not get to travel very much and this friend eats a different food than the rest of them, they were all still able to be friends. So you know what that means? That means it's, it's perfectly fine to share your story. It's perfectly fine to be the same, but it's even better to be different. So it's always important to talk to your friends about some of the things you do with your families. We love to be different and show and talk about our families in the classroom. So remember, do you think you can tell me about something that you do with your family that's different? I'd love to hear about it. See you soon.